piping material specification this is one of the most important deliverable from piping discipline this is the second part of this course in first part we discussed about what is pms what are the various items in pms in detail we looked into various elements which are covered in any of the pipe class then we looked into various inputs required to start working on this deliverable especially the fluid list we looked into each and every aspect in detail so that we can set the foundation for this particular deliverable so let us see what we are going to cover in this part the main agenda here is item group 5 let us see what we are going to cover in this section with respect to this item group so what we are doing here we are going to divide this section into five parts first one is pipe second is dimensional standard then end connection then thickness and then the major the design and material standards so first we look into how the pms is represented various seg segments of pipe okay so this is the basic uh, thing where we look into the basic things then we'll start with pipe what is pipe how the pipe schedule is defined plastic pipes jacketed pipe and a lot of interesting facts here which we have captured with respect to pipe especially with respect to the piping material specification second part is dimensional standard now what is what is dimensional standard why it is required what are various dimensional standard for metallic pipes non metallic side pipes then we'll look into one of the dimensional standard in detail so that we can understand the whole concept with respect to dimensional standards third section is end connections so there will be a lot of end connections with respect to pipe so we'll look into each and every aspect its application how these are defined how these are represented so all those aspects shall be covered in this section then the third part is schedule or thickness so with respect to this we'll look into various things in detail for example we'll look into what are the various inputs to decide the pipe thickness how those inputs are received from where we get this information how we use this information what is uh, what are the various parameters which are required for this uh, for capturing this kind of information then we look into various asm standards which are used to calculate these things pt rating will the basics we have to know how this pt rating is associated with thickness what are the allowable stresses we look into each and every aspect with respect to allowable we look into various clauses which are there in 31.3 how those are uh, uh referred how we can use those parameters to calculate the pipe thickness then we'll look into actual pipe thickness calculation we'll take an example and we will uh, use all these parameters to calculate the actual thickness for a particular line size then we'll look into various line conditions how we can optimize the pipe thickness with respect to line conditions so all those things we'll calculate so that we can understand how we calculate the pipe thickness then this is again a very major uh, part which we really need to understand so that we can define the pipe group in pms what we are going to do here we will classify we will divide this section into four parts that is carbon steel low temperature carbon steel stainless steel alloy steels then we will look into each and every section with respect to astm standards we will look into all the asm standard which are associated with as carbon steel low temperature stainless steel alloy steel so that we can understand what are various parameters how chemical mechanical properties are defined in these asm so that we can refer those how we can implement these into our uh, live projects so that we we'll try to understand the basics for each and every material okay so once we go through these total five sections we will be aware of each and every part which is associated with this item group so this is going to be very informative session so i i'm sure you'll get uh, additional knowledge and you can implement that, that knowledge into your projects into your live projects or in future uh, you can use this information